points we need to get to before we carry on. Uh, we regret to announce that the Junior Civitan Club has been disbanded because of the failure of the fruitcake industry down in Claxton, Georgia. Attorney Jimmy Bryan is handling any complaints. Uh, Jack Derryberry, attorney and president of the Junior Classical League, announces they need some new Christians and Lions. Uh, Jerry McPherson from McPherson's Cleaners has offered to wash the blood from the togas. Uh, Senorita Beatty, who is here with us, uh, announces that Bruce Gold has finally won the presidency of the Spanish Club after a long power struggle. She says his study of the botanical wonders of Colombia were the winning factor. Congratulations, Bruce. But right now, would you please welcome back to Hillsborough High School, Hale Harris. Oh. Thank you, Sam. While I'm speaking, all of you sit up straight and get both feet on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention. Sarah said she wanted me to open the assembly and say something. I said, boy, that crowd didn't listen to me 25 years ago. You know they're not going to pay any attention to me now. It's always wonderful to see our graduates. And you've done so many wonderful things, and we're just we're proud of you. I always felt close to you students and all your peers. Uh, you really, all I had to do when things were not going right, when somebody came in the office and chewed me out about something, when the bell rang and I just went down the hall and speaking to you, it brought me back up because you uh, always were so nice to me when I was a principal. You were my first graduating class, and I, I was so proud when I made mistakes, you covered for me well. And I appreciate you, and we, we honor it that you invite us back. Thank you. New standards are in effect for the Pep Club. In the past, anybody could be a member. Uh, thereby getting your picture in the annual again and giving you something else to put on your, under your senior picture. Uh, no more. A genuine display of petness will now be required. Uh, and uh, this will be interesting for a lot of you guys. A retroactive sports letter is now being awarded to members of the Caving Club. Uh, led by Ken Moore and Mark Wiener, they consistently out spelunked every rival club. Many sports writers have theorized that they were the best spelunkers in the game. For more information on the caving club, meet Buck and Scotty in the basement boiler room after school. Uh, led by Alex Lebowski, the Hilltopic staff has uncovered a conspiracy in the band and in the choir in which it was discovered that they were using taped performances and simply pretending to sing and play. Uh, Mr. Sims and Ms. Johns have been removed from their positions and face lengthy jail terms. The choir and the band have been eliminated. Sarah Hume has been removed as valedictorian after it was revealed that she, in fact, guessed at the answers to multiple choice questions and was merely lucky, not smart. <laughs> Becky Coleman will reign in her place. The 65 senior class probably is one of the best football teams he's ever coached. We beat, uh, we beat Madison that was uh, ranked in the top 20 at that time. I'm sure we could go on and on about the other victories, but, uh, but the main thing is we were out there, we were trying, and we had a, a great experience. We really did. What did you all do when you snuck out at night? It's time for the tall pines to pine and the pawpaws to paw. Let's go home. Exactly.
exactly did you decide to come back to the um, reunion? Uh, yeah, I was going to go bowling, but this sounded like a better uh, opportunity. Because I wanted to, and I had no choice. Oh, just to relive all the old memories, see all my old friends, see the old school. Well, actually, I came to see you, Larry. I sniff around here all the time. So, I mean, it's, it's just kind of natural for me to be here. I was so anxious to see how everybody looked. To see you. Because I had to see if it was still here. To see everybody that I remember. Oh, yeah, it's just such a great group. I I really don't think I better say that. And I owe my position in life today to what she did for me back then.